at six tonight. After more than 2,000 performances, our very own Mike Randall is marking a half century as Mark Twain. Randall will take the stage a week from tomorrow at the Riviera Theater, 50 years to the day after his first performance. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley sat down with Mike about how he's sustained his Mark Twain live show for five decades. I must say I'm very delighted to be here tonight doing the weather for um, for that other guy. Classic Mike Randall delivering his weather forecast in the late 1990s, fresh off performing his Mark Twain live show in Ellicottville. I didn't know what else to do. Mike says the person that was supposed to fill in for him called in sick, so his news director insisted he do the weather forecast live from Ellicottville. Do it as Mark Twain. So then I thought about it and I thought, well, I don't really have a choice. So they sent the live truck down to Ellicottville and I did the weather. <laughs> It's Mark Twain. It's a bond that began five decades ago when Randall started performing as Twain at the age of 18 while a student at Rosary Hill College, now known as Damon University. I was a student there and we were trying to raise money so we could get a radio station. And I volunteered. I was like, oh, I'll do a Mark Twain show. But then, uh, then it dawned on me. I had to learn all this material and put a show together. People ask me why I wear a white suit. I've traveled around and uh, I've discovered that clothes make the man. Naked people have little or no influence on society. Mike says it was Twain's sense of humor that drew him into impersonating him. That's why throughout the decades he never stopped performing, even appearing off Broadway in New York City. It's crazy. I never even, I thought I'd do it once and that would be it. Mike tells me impersonating famous people started for him at the age of nine. So there I was, nine years old, listening to this record, trying to talk like Jimmy Stewart. And just like Twain, Mike is multi-talented, an actor, humorist, meteorologist, and master storyteller. Twain, whose real name was Samuel Clemens, once lived in Buffalo for 18 months in a home on Delaware Avenue. But Mike says even after he left, he would often visit. And he was giving a speech in Buffalo and he said, I miss seeing many of my old friends. Some have gone to the tomb, some to the gallows, and some to the White House. The Buffalo and Erie County Public Library has a special room and collection of Twain's works. And when it opened in the 1990s, Mike was asked to be the MC. That night I did smoke a cigar and people were ha! They couldn't believe they let me smoke a cigar in the library. I asked Mike to share one of his favorite Twain lines. Politicians are like diapers. They need to be changed often and uh, for the same reason. <laughs> Probably can't use that one on TV. So exactly 50 years later, on the same date, May 14th, same time, 7.30, Randall will be performing here at the Riviera Theater as Mark Twain once again but he says it won't stop there. I'm going for six though. I'm going to see after we do this show if I can book it for my 60th. <laughs> Eileen Buckley, 7 News, North Tonawanda. 50 years. I mean, Mike Randall is probably the coolest guy we know. Oh, he is awesome. Yeah. And so he could do so many things. It, it, puppeteering, I mean, it's amazing. He is the, Magic tricks. the <laughs> ultimate entertainer. So if you have a chance to get out to that show, I mean, it'll be for something sure. else.